What is up everybody, welcome back to episode 4 of Telltale's Game of Thrones. In the last episode, we... We had a little argument with the, uh, what's his name? Whitehall, I think his name is. But, he absolutely got wrecked by, uh, what's his face? I can't remember any names, I, I'm, I'm such a bad person. But, let's get into the this episode. What are we going to do this episode? Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favour. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Holy crap, we get to see. Oh my god. We're in King's Landing. Can we see Tyrion? Can we see Cersei? Can we see everyone? Very kind of so let's look at this. To give this to me. The ones belong to Lady Elena. Can we see Lady, Mar Lady Marjorie? Marjorie is just beautiful. Ethan made this for me. That looks like it was off a shield. Let's look at another coin. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. And now, we're going to look at... We're going to read the letter. What does it say? Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. She didn't finish the letter. So there's fruit on the table. There's a dusty old tome. Let's just have a look around before we go look at anything. Look at window. Let's look at the window. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Does she know about her father? Wonders made by man by Lomas Longstrider. Longstrider. I hope to see them all someday. She doesn't know. Oh, that's heartbreaking. She doesn't know about her family. That is literally heartbreaking. Is that supposed to lock her door? Well. So I can't go that way. I looked at everything, apparently. Can we walk out? No, what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? Oh, what's over here? Are we supposed to get that torch? No, it doesn't have the option. Is there something in here that I have missed? The letter from Mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. So I think now we can get, go out of this room. Can't One open moment. Up. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Oh, we see to fill up the coal thing. That that's fine. I'm begging your pardon, milady, but. Are you alright? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please he seems depressed. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. 
instead of doing it uh, carefully, why don't you just you tip the, the whole Marjorie? bucket? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Perhaps you should come back later. Of course, my lady. Oh, so beautiful. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. She oh, looks dead. She looks different discuss. now from the from the uh, TV show. But I like how they they tried to get her like features. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden, a dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel but about. But that one behind them just family. seems creepy as I hell. Feel your so pain sketch. As if it were my own. What you've suffered. You're very kind. Imagining. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief, but you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark, it raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal set. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She that was very bitch. pleased with herself. I am I'm no not traitor. A traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to This game just looks so nice. I, I love this game. It looks so good. Oh, the graphics are the Telltale Classic. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. So she, so she speaks. I thought she was just a random character that just stays quiet in the background. Oh my god, it's Tyrion! It's Tyrion! Does he have the scar? You can do this. Does he have the scar? Hey, how'd she walk faster than I do? I can't. Oh my god, walk faster, please. Oh, look at Tyrion just acting all swag. Ah, Lady Marjorie. He Why has a scar! Lovely this evening. Yes! Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your she looks exactly like Cersei from Mira Game of Thrones. Of it's Forest so Day. good. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. She's still Is a bitch, though. Is family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. 
The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the king can expect from you, if you have any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? No, I want to stab him in the face. Roose Bolton also served the Starks, your grace. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust... God, Tyrion is so good. Forester. I love Tyrion. Who Forced doesn't love Tyrion? It does seem rather unique. Many desire our ironwood. Forrester Ironwood is highly sought after in the Seven Kingdoms. So I'm told. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another yes. house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, you're Anything. Place. I would do anything. <clears throat> I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe with the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let the would... girl answer the question. Go on. I must choose Marjorie, your grace. I serve at her pleasure. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? <laughs> the most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. <laughs> I love his sarcasm. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Hypocrite. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I'll walk you out. Tyrion being the gentleman he is. But I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even they have the no honor, though. circumstances. Forgive me for saying it, but the Boltons have no honor. Ruse Bolton has many unique qualities. Honor is not one of them. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I wasn't trying to please her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. <laughs> we must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. 
The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you I willing to risk that? Yes. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Oh, this is so good. Game of Thrones Telltale Games is fantastic. I'm loving this. I am really loving this. But it is full of um, cutscenes. I'm sorry if you can hear everything outside, guys. It's just my windows open. Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It went well. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born Wait, sons. Wait, Marjorie's wedding? Oh my god! Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. And over in Martell, the red viper. <laughs> I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. It's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. <laughs> Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Magic, ma marrying Joffrey? Now that would be would you marry Joffrey hell. If it meant you'd become queen. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? I tried to move them back, my lady. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. <laughs> Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister, wow! Rather disappointed by your display, Mirror. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? People are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... 
I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Go on. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. My mother feels it is urgent, my lady. She's unfamiliar with King's Landing and its politics. I hope you can understand that. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. <laughs> okay, guys, that is the end of episode 4 of Game of Thrones Telltale Games. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. Also, subscribe for more videos. More Game of Thrones videos. I am enjoying playing this game so much. Cer Cersei is still a massive bitch. Nobody likes her. I don't like her. Tyrion, his sarcasm is always great. And hope you guys liked the little ship that they had in there. Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Anna. So that, that was just hilarious. But um, hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe for more videos in the future. Follow me on Twitter. Link in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Telltale Games is Game of Thrones.